Another solution is to activate an overcurrent protection function to protect this area and this protection function, overcurrent protection function should be activated by opening the breaker coupler. So we need the breaker coupler position also in this case. Another solution which nowadays are using in the bus bar differential relays stations where the power handle per circuit is very large. This arrangement is very flexible and we can add circuit, additional circuit. To there will be no trip either in zone A or zone B. So then how we can protect such a fault in the system? Of course, we know that the faults in the bus bar happens against external faults where high current is flowing to the CTs and it may due to the CT errors, there will be some IDF trip or not. Here IDF is trip where you need and to isolate the fault, all breaker connected to this bus bar or this protection zone should be trip to isolate the fault. How to set the reference value in the DZ4 software? Later requires a circuit breaker with two isolator for each feeder bay and a bus coupler. This arrangement provides the maximum you can use a short zone protection function to protect this area or blind the spot area. To simplify the analysis of the bus bar differential. Another solution to detect such a fault by bus bar differential relay is by defining the different protection zones for each bus bar by configuring the cities in the differential protection functions when the IDF is higher than the value in the setting based on the characteristics there will be a diff trip signal in this figure